How's it going? This is Gary McNulty doing his software engineering tree uh, demo presentation for the deliverable one of fair assignment. So as you can see here, I decided to do a bus ticking, a bus ticket booking system. And I just have a quick note at the top here that just says you don't need to be logged in to use this system. As it shouldn't be necessary to be logged in to buy a bus ticket, in my opinion. So the class I have are customer class. Uh, the bus UI, the bus agent UI, so the user interface, the web application or whatever, the ticket class, refund class, our controller which has all our functions or our operations that gets from the functions class and the ticket counter class. So basically it kicks off with one customer can go into the bus agent and then they can operate any of these operations so they can search for a ticket, they can book a ticket, they can fill in their details for that ticket and then they can make a payment or else they can cancel so that's the way that bit works and all these operations come from this uh, functions class or interface sorry and it's a one to many because one user can interact with many of these uh, operations at a time so basically once a user is has make, made a booking and paid made a payment it will go back to the UI where the create ticket will be called and then this will generate this ticket class consisting of all the details for the ticket which will be a one to many relationship sorry I have the one hidden there sorry about that and it's a one to many relationship because one customer can buy many tickets so then once that one to many relationship is there in this ticket class the ticket can be displayed so the user can then get the ticket or else they can modify their details on it or add details that that may have been left out or, or or such so then once the user has their tickets they can make a refund on the ticket if if that's and that's a one to many relationship as well because uh, one user can make many refunds depending on how many tickets they own and that's the customer to ticket is also one to many because one customer can have many tickets if they're buying a couple of tickets at once. As for this bus agent class, when the user buys their tickets, it will call this ticket count, which goes in here and works its way down to ticket counter to where it takes the customer ID, the ticket count of what um how many how many tickets that they're buying, or uh, yeah, how many tickets they're buying, and then it will perform the count tickets operation where it will add whatever that number is onto the total number of tickets that are being sold so far so that's all that is there for so next I just have one of my use cases just a basic use case to show how the ticket counter works so the customer goes into the bus agent buys his ticket the ticket gets created displayed back customer can access it and download it whatever they want to do with it and then the bus agent calls the ticket counter ticket counter includes the count tickets function so whatever number it is is added on as I just explained the second use case I have is how the customer interacts with the UI and can perform many of the functions that it provides. So the bus, the bus agent is the UI and that extends like the functions so it can, the user can search for a ticket, cancel the ticket, make a payment, fill details or book a ticket. And this is just how the customer books a ticket and how it's created from how they book a ticket. So they'll go into the bus agent, they'll fill in their details on whatever ticket they've searched for. And then if they search, uh, and then once they search their details, they can book the ticket and pay for the ticket. Once that is all being done, the, it goes back to the UI. The UI calls to create the ticket. The ticket is created. It comes down here. The ticket is displayed out to the user from where the user can then take it and download it. This is my sequence diagram one. I'm just going to show you these as I have previously talked through them in the use case diagrams above. So. I'll just go through these slowly so you can see them. And I'm running close to the five minutes, so. And that's the final one there. So this has been my presentation or demonstration for my software engineering deliverable one. Thank you for watching. And, and I hope this was uh, sufficient. Thank you.